thought it would be so much fun to show you guys some more super easy recipes to make slime without glue. So in my last video I showed you guys how you can make a really awesome fluffy slime without glue and you guys seem to really like that and found it super helpful. So today I'm going to be showing you four more no glue slime recipes. If you guys enjoy watching this video and you love slime just as much as I do, it'd be awesome if you let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and let's see if we can get this video to 18,352 thumbs up. That would be so awesome and I totally think you guys can do it. Now if this is my first video that you're seeing then hello my name is Jillian and I am so so happy that you found my channel and if you would like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already subscribed then just go ahead and click that subscribe button and then whenever I upload a new video you'll be able to see it. Now I am super excited because I have partnered up with the app Clue for today's video and Clue is basically an app that helps you track your period and figure out every Thing that is going on with your body and seriously I wish this app had existed when I first started my period because it would have been so helpful I remember sitting there like counting the days on the calendar trying to figure out when my next period was due and I would always get it wrong and I'd always mess it up so I am so happy that this app exists and I just have to share it with you guys so I love that you can keep so much information in this app about what is going on with your body and it is so easy to keep track of everything so just click the today button and then you can see a bunch of different information that you can add about how you're feeling and what's going on with you today and then this app will basically just take all that data and assess it and it'll tell you how you're going to be feeling on certain days and it just lets you know what's going on with your body so my favorite part about this app and I was so happy to see that it had this feature and I know that so many of you guys are going to find this helpful so if you click on cycle signs it'll take you to a list where you can see a bunch of different feelings and emotions and just everything to do with your period and then if you click on something for example I've clicked on emotions it'll tell you why it's important to track emotions it'll tell you what's healthy what's normal it'll tell you the different types of emotions so you'll basically just get to learn a lot about what your body is doing why it's doing that and I just love that all the information is in one spot so if you feel like you need this app in your life and seriously I am so happy that it exists and I just really wanted to share it with you guys because I know that a lot of you will find this super helpful you can download it for free on iOS or Android and I will leave a link to download it in the description box so make sure you check that out so I think it's time that we jump into the video and let's start making some really awesome slime without glue starting off with this super simple no glue slime and technically this only uses two ingredients if you don't use a food coloring so the first thing you're going to need is some cornstarch so just add this to a bowl and then you're also going to need some hair conditioner and just add this to the bowl as well now I started off adding about equal parts and then mixing it together and it takes a while to mix in but just be patient with it and you'll see it start to combine and if your mixture is too too wet then add more cornstarch and if your mixture is too dry then add more conditioner but just keep mixing it together until you get this awesome really soft dough like texture If you don't want to use a spatula you can also use your hands to mix it together and this works as well and then once it's all mixed together you should have this super soft and stretchy dough and this is such an awesome texture it feels so awesome and I'm just so obsessed with it Then if you want to make it a little bit more fun, you can add some food dye to give it an awesome color. And here I'm adding blue food dye and then I just put on some gloves to mix in the food dye because I didn't want to stain my hands blue. So then just mix the food dye into the cornstarch and conditioner mixture and see it start to change color and this is so much fun. I love, love, love this no glue slime. And I know it's not like the traditional slime texture, but I know a lot of people have cornstarch and conditioner at home. So if you have those ingredients, you can just mix them together and make this super awesome, super easy, no glue slime. 
So now moving on to another two ingredient slime, if you don't count the food dye, and we are going to be making blue tack slime. So the first thing you're going to need is some hand soap, so just add a little bit of this to a bowl. And then you are of course going to need some blue tack, so just take some and start working it with your hands to warm up the blue tack to make it a bit stretchier and a bit easier to work with. So then all you need to do is dip the blue tack into a little bit of the hand soap and then start pressing all the blue tack and the hand soap together so you, the hand soap mixes in with the blue tack and then just keep on repeating this and you'll find that the blue tack will get softer and stretchier the more soap you add to it. But I found that if I added too much soap it actually made the blue tack quite sticky so just keep an eye on that when you're adding the hand soap. So I love, love, love the slime so much. It made the blue tack so light and like really, really soft. It was such a cool texture and it was nothing like regular blue tack. And I can't believe that it changed so much just with hand soap. So I of course wanted to make my blue tack slime a really fun color. So here I added some purple food dye and then again wearing gloves, I just mixed the food dye into the blue tack slime. But it's making me shiver. He's not like you, don't want him to. He's more like the. And I love this blue tack slime so much. It's not like any other texture of slime, but it's still super stretchy and super soft, and it was so much fun to play with. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I. So now moving on to this no glue glitter slime and this is probably one of the prettiest slimes I've ever made. The first thing you're going to need is a bowl and then you're going to need some peel off face mask and you need to check the ingredients on the back to make sure it contains polyvinyl alcohol. So then just take your peel off face mask and add some to a bowl. You want me to take you in my truck. And then if you want, you can make your glitter slime a really fun color and here I'm coloring mine pink and then just mixing in the food dye. Next for the fun part, you're going to need a bunch of glitter. So I just grabbed all the pink glitter that I had and started adding it to the bowl and I love this part so much because it's just so sparkly and magical. And then once you've added all your glitter, you can just start to mix it into the face mask. And then of course I'm adding more glitter because in my opinion you can never have too much glitter. Then take just under a teaspoon of a baking soda and add this to our glitter mixture and mix this in. You want me to take you now to activate our slime we're going to be using contact solution so just add a little bit of this at a time and mix it in and then your slime will start to come together. So just keep adding contact solution until your slime is no longer sticking to the sides of the bowl and then you can just go ahead and take it out of the bowl and start working it with your hands and it should form the perfect slime. I love how sparkly this slime is and it's so pretty! I can't believe this slime is made with no glue because it totally feels like a slime made with glue and it's so easy to make and it's so pretty and sparkly and I'm just so obsessed with it. Next we have 
have this jelly slime and this isn't like a traditional slime texture it's more like I said a jelly texture but it is just so much fun to make and you can make it with ingredients that you can find at home so I wanted to include it so first taking some shampoo add this to a bowl Then next I decided to color this jelly slime blue because I love the way blue looks in clear slime. So I just added some blue food coloring and mixed this into the shampoo. Then you are going to need some salt, so I just went to the cupboard and found some salt, but you only need a super tiny amount of this and just sprinkle it on top of the shampoo and then start mixing it in and you'll see that the texture of the shampoo will start to change. It becomes a little bit thicker and a little bit like actual slime. So then you just want to take a container and then taking your shampoo mixture, place this inside of the container and then you just want to pop a lid on this and then pop it in the fridge for it to refrigerate for a bit and to cool down. So because it has been in the fridge, it is slightly solidified so now you can like touch it and press it and it won't stick to your fingers. And like I said, this isn't a traditional slime recipe but it was just so much fun to make that I wanted to include it and the fact that you only need shampoo and salt I think is so awesome. There is four different ways to make slime if you don't have any glue and I had so much fun filming this video Any video where I get to make slime is just an awesome video If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you let me know by giving it a thumbs up And if you haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Focus, breaking up from our life as we know it.